Hello. Imagine's cell phone rarely stops ringing these days. She calls herself a marriage broker. In reality, she sells Syrian girls to men looking for brides at bargain prices. Of course she's thin, she told this client. She's been in the camp for a month. For many families living in Jordan's refugee camp, selling their daughters into marriage is the only way to survive. Across the Middle East, it is the custom for the groom to pay the bride's family. But their desperation is being exploited. Often the marriages are a sham, just a way to have sex. Some last only weeks. Umajid gets a cut for every match she makes. Young virgins fetch up to $5,000. You want me to get a younger one? She asked this caller. 13, 14? How does that make you feel to marry off a 13-year-old girl? Don't ask me, ask the families, she told us. It's the parents who feel it like a knife in their heart. But what can they do? We're in a state of war. 17-year-old Aya fled Syria with her family just under a year ago. She was sold to a 70-year-old man from Saudi Arabia for $3,500. He left her after a month. This month was like a nightmare. I spent half of it crying. He didn't let me talk to my family much, she told us. But I had no choice. Umajad makes no apologies for her business. This is the only way for me to make a living, she said. Syrians can't work in Jordan. What are we supposed to do? Steal? Kill? Do you have any daughters? Would you be willing to marry them off at 13 years old? Impossible. I would die for them. I would sell my eyes before I sold my kids, she told us. But everyone's drowning. It's a high price to pay in a society that places such high value on a woman's honor. Do you feel ashamed by what's happened to you? Mm -hmm. Yes, very. This feeling really never leaves me, she said. If I could only go back in time, just one month. But for Aya, her innocence lost and her country at war, there is no going back. Clarissa Ward, CBS News, Amman, Jordan.